talk about ways uh, that people misuse wealth today you already have the wealth let's let's say today a good example that uh, most of the young people do maybe your father now passes on you know you'll be left the wealth yes or when you're the age 21 <coughs> if you already like have a fund yes you you'll be given most say most of the parents it was 18 but no nowadays it's 21 to 25 if they had funding for you they they release the money for you to start using but in kenya i think they should start from 25 because 21 you are so young you're still in the what in the campus so they release the money maybe your parents had saved up like uh, Five million for you. They start releasing the money for you to to get to start investing on whatever thing you wanted to do. So there are ways that you can use that money well, but there are also other ways that you can misuse the well. Number one, you can misuse the well through overindulging in drugs. You start involving yourself in drugs. If you are left for property, and you know it is a monthly affair, you start just getting the rent and doing what in, in overindulging in the drugs. Yes, also through uh, immoral practices like prostitution. You can also be involved in buying any luxury that you think of. You can't buy uh, clothes every day. When are you going to wear all those clothes? Those people who have like a um, hundred shoes, when are they going to wear them? All of them. They don't wear all of them. No one can do that every day. No, you have specific shoes that you like most. And you keep on repeating them if but your boys you can't understand because boys usually have like two pairs or three pairs yes mostly if it goes beyond it's two and there's the one that you love most so you can't relate girls are the ones who can relate buying luxuries cannot help you even if you you buy a car today tomorrow you're driving another different car that is misuse of wealth also using wealth to bribe people also that is misuse because what you're doing you're you're uh, when you're bribing someone there's someone else who you are doing what the, you you are going against their right because they will not be able to be to get whatever they needed you're pressing someone else when, when you're bribing because you'll get something that you're not qualified for also others use money to brag or to show off that is a misuse of uh, wealth also promoting dangerous projects which dangerous projects can you promote with your money mm -hmm. yes sorry yes drug dealing yes i don't want to give examples with the government oh my god using it to frustrate others you use your money because now you have money and you know when you had money so and so never helped you you make sure you use the money to frustrate them Yes, you buy all the land around them, all the land around them, and then you tell them if you any of your farming animals eh, gets into my land, each time they get in your land, you take them to court. That is, you want to frustrate them by not sharing with others. That's a way that you can misuse your wealth, and also by being extravagant. And I want to note you this because to, to uh, I want. To put this forth because it's very important to you if the time that you'll be given you inherit your money or you are going to be to be wealthy by either being um maybe given the money or gifts especially i want to talk about inheritance because it's very rare it is uh most likely to happen in your community or in your family sorry you won't be able to sustain that wealth even for a year or two. If today you cannot keep a 10,000 or 5,000, you won't be able to sustain that wealth. I'm very sure of it, 100%. If from, let's say, God forbid, you, by the time you, you complete your Form 4, your parents pass away and you inherit, you will lose that money within a year or two. Number one, you'll be buying luxuries and mostly you'll overindulge. And then because you're doing that and there's property, you sell. You sell it. People are going to lie to you because you're a drunkard, you sell it at a low price. All of a sudden, you'll be poor. Look at your community. Go back in your homes and your community. Those people who are rich one time, and all of a sudden, they're what? They're poor. Or a child who inherited money, and they, even older people, 
The parents were very wealthy and all of a sudden are what? Are poor. It starts with you here in school. You've been given pocket money and it cannot even last a week. Ask yourself what you use your pocket money for. It starts with, when you get a lot of money, basically when you get wealthy, it, it doesn't mean you change your behavior. It means that a behavior that you had, now is, it's, it's, it will be shown, it will be brought forth by the money at a larger scale because now you are what? You are liquid. Anyway, that's my take. Properties of money. We said money is a medium of exchange. So, what are the characteristics of money? Yes, how do you know this is money? Number one, it should be generally acceptable. That is, that when you, you're holding the Kenyan currency, you can go to the US and they change it to the what? To the dollar. It is acceptable worldwide. Or if you, you're holding the dollar and you come to Kenya, we can be able to do what? To do an exchange for you, you get the Kenya shilling. Also, it must be durable in that even if when you're washing your clothes by mistake, you're doing your laundry and money was there, it's still intact, right? But when you, if you are cleaning your clothes and there was tissue paper, you'll be shocked. All your clothes, it will be everywhere on your clothes and destroyed. So it, it must be durable. It must be divisible in units whereby you can be able to break it into smaller amounts. You can break 100 shillings into 250 shillings. You can break 100 shillings into how many 10 shillings? 10. 20 shillings? 5. So it, it, must be, it, it must be divisible into smaller units. It must be easy to carry around. You can carry money anywhere. Even now you can be carrying money in your socks. And you don't know and you're here. Or inside your tie. Yes, it's very easy to... Inside, uh, even... Um, Below your, your, your watch, you can be, it, it is very, it, it should, it must be very easy to carry around. Yes, its value must be maintained through proper control of its circulation. That is, we cannot be, we can only print money through the Central Bank of Kenya. You, you, the president cannot wake up today and start printing money, no. It should be controlled. If we are printing more money, that means the older currencies are being destroyed. So that we can have the control of the circulation of the money. And also, it is, it, it can be used, it should be used by like a measure of wealth. So if you have like a billion Kenya shillings, it should be warrant you to be wealthy, no matter where you are. Because if you, um, if you have a hundred million shillings, if you're in the U.S., how much is that? It's one million dollar, roughly. No, not now. Now the dollar is one sixty. It is less than one million dollar right now. From there, we go to the.